Gong Yu is finally making his comeback and fans are absolutely beyond thrilled. This upcoming romantic mystery drama is all you need to keep yourself on the edge of your seat. What do you think the story is going to be about? Let's find out. The year 2023 has seen some spectacular Korean dramas, especially on Netflix. Some are yet to be released in the coming months. But the streaming platform never fails to surprise their viewers with a new announcement. Gong Yu, the lovable main star of Goblin, who won over millions of fans, is teaming up with Sho Hyun Jin, who is known for her impressive acting. They're said to appear together in a new romantic K-drama called Trunk. What's interesting is that the series is based on a book of the same name by Kim Ryo Ryung, a famous Korean writer known for works like Punch and Thread of Lies. This collaboration between Gong Yu, Sho Yun Jin, and Kim Ryo Ryung's story promises to be exciting for K-drama enthusiasts and book lovers alike. The anticipation for the show is building up as it combines the talents of these notable figures to tell a compelling story that's sure to touch the hearts of viewers. Here's everything you need to know about the series. The Trunk depicts the peculiar marriage story of a man and a woman as they unravel secrets tied to a mysterious marriage service linked to a trunk that floated to the lakeside. On July 27, Netflix announced that Gong Yu had been cast as the lead in the series, joined by Sho Yun Jin. Trunk is an upcoming South Korean Netflix original romantic mystery drama series directed by Kim Kyu Tae and written by Park Yun Young. Yun Young has been widely known for her phenomenal writing for Warang, I Have Not Done My Best, and The Third Charm. Kim Kyu Tae is a South Korean television director and producer. He directed the K-dramas A Love to Kill, Iris, Padan Padam, That Winter, The Wind Blows, It's Okay, That's Love, and Moon Lover's Scarlet Heart Rio. The story revolves around Han Jung Won, a music producer, and In Ji, who works as a deputy head for a fixed marriage service company, NM. Inji is a woman who would rather live her life single and who despises the idea of marriage itself. Despite the unique nature of No Inji's profession, neither she nor Ha Jun Wong places much faith in marriage. Both bear the scars of past failed marriages, which have left them deeply skeptical about the prospect of finding lasting love. Han Jung Won, particularly, carries the heavy burden of his shattered first marriage, an experience that has left him scarred and disillusioned. His belief that all marriages ultimately lead to betrayal has solidified into a steadfast conviction, creating a barrier around his heart. However, fate, it seems, has other plans in store for them. The plot takes an intriguing turn when Chung Wo's lingering ex-wife, still intricately entwined with his emotions, decides to take matters into her own hands. Determined to find him a suitable partner, she turns to the very agency No In Ji presides over, Anna. The twist of the irony here is that No In Ji herself becomes the unwitting candidate for Jung Won's potential partner. This unexpected and somewhat mysterious marriage contract sets the stage for a series of events that will challenge their preconceived notions about love, trust, and the institution of marriage itself. Adding an element of intrigue to the narrative is the discovery of a foreboding trunk submerged in a tranquil lake. This ominous trunk serves as a catalyst for unraveling dark and shocking truths about the very matchmaking service No Inji oversees. As they embark on a journey to uncover the secrets concealed within this trunk, the story takes on a thrilling and enigmatic turn. Through the turbulence of their marriage, the mysterious surrounding the trunk, and the sinister revelations that follow, No Inji and Ha Jung Won find themselves navigating uncharted territory testing the boundaries of their beliefs and forging a connection that neither of them could have anticipated. This tale promises to be a roller coaster of emotions, suspense, and personal growth as they confront the past, the mysteries of Tenem, and their own insecurities. Gong Yu will be playing the lead role of Ha Jong Won. Gong Yu has played instantly recognizable characters that people all around the world have come to love and cherish, such as the salesman who recruited Chong Ji Hoon in Squid Game. He has also played major roles in his Train to Busan, one of his most well-known works to date, with this heart-wrenching performance. The actor also played significant roles in Silence and The Age of Shadows. He also has some interesting projects coming up. The actor will be part of the Netflix Wonderland movie. He will also be returning for his role as the recruiter in Squid Game Season 2 and has received countless nominations and awards for his phenomenal acting performances 
including Best Guest Actor in a Drama Series for Squid Game, Best Actor for Goblin, and Grand Prize for A Man and a Woman. At the peak of his career, Gong Yu took part in the movie Silence, which was based on a true story of sexual assault and child abuse in a special school in Korea. The film sparked public outrage and led to a demand for legislative reform to impose heavier punishments for sex crimes against minors and the disabled. The final bill was passed and the Dugani law from the name of the movie itself was born. While the actor is often seen in television commercials, he is known to be rather private, with no social media accounts. In 2013, he was appointed as an ambassador by UNICEF, since the Convention on the Rights of the Child was adopted. Sho Yun Ji will play the lead role of No In Ji in the series. She has played her characters well enough that the viewers will be familiar with her in dramas such as Record of Youth, Here Comes Mr. Oh, Goddess of Fire, and Do Oh Hei Young. An ex-vocalist of the K-pop group Milk before its disbandment in 2003 and continued to be a solo artist until 2006. In 2006, she transitioned into acting and Yoon Jin has since then gone on to become one of the most talented actresses in the film industry. She has mastered her position as a strong female protagonist and has mastered the romance genre as well. She made her acting debut in The Sound of Music and then appearances in many television series and films. She has received the Best Actress Award twice for her roles in Why Her and Another Miss O, oh, excellent actress for her role in Dr. Romantic and many more. Shaw first gained fame for her more understated portrayal of the duo as a local tomboy who subsequently transforms into a Jason. In Feast of the Gods, she portrayed an excessively ambitious chef caught up in a feud playing her first villain role. The King's Daughter, Su Bae Kyung, and The Three Musketeers, two historical dramas in which Shaw was cast in staring roles, were the next projects. In 2022, Shaw Yun Jin plays the main character of Oh Soo Jae, a lawyer who later became a professor in the legal drama Why Her. In Kashupeya, she characterizes a daughter with Alzheimer's disease. She navigates through life as she slowly becomes a child because she's losing her memory. As time went by, the quality of her work as well as her choices became extremely high. And some even say she went from a wannabe K-pop star to a K-drama royalty. Fans of the two actors are extremely excited and this will be the first series where the two talented actors will be on the same screen. The anticipation is hype for their collaboration in Trunk, set to air on Netflix. So, will you guys be watching it? Are you excited as we are? I hope you are because we already know this show is going to be phenomenal. Until then, stay tuned for more updates. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next one.